Hello Voxel lovers and welcome back to another Vox Edit video. I am Pandapops and I am here to tell you about some of the latest features that will be coming to the update within Vox Edit. We won't be going too in-depth, more in-depth videos will come out at a later date. This is just going over a few of the latest features that you will be able to see in the next update of Vox Edit. One of the newest features is actually on the news tab when you open up Vox Edit, which is what's new. And we will have the change log in here as well. All of the new features, what's been fixed, known issues, enhancements, all of that stuff will be here. So you will be able to see that for yourself. But I will be going over a few of these features that you'll see in here uh, in a little bit more detail and just talking through some of them. So I'm going to hop over to the animator and I'm going to open up this unlocked spider. Now, a few things I do, I do want to say a lot of the features are all shortcuts. It is shortcuts galore for you guys. Before we go into looking at the, the shortcuts within the animator section itself, what we are going to do is quickly hop over to the spider's belly and go over just a couple of the changes within the modeler. Changes here is instead of being able to change your view in this corner up here, we now change from regular to on a graphic view down in the bottom corner. We can also split into different screens and split it. So we have the 3D view and then different sides of a 2D view there and then switch to go back. In my opinion, I would kind of prefer these to be switched as in uh, the, the, the 3D model be on the right hand side uh, rather than in this top corner. I'd prefer it to be either when it's two screens on the right or top right. Another feature is that to select all, we do still have control A. However, to deselect, it has switched to con control W instead of control D. Those are some of the new features within the modeler section. One of the ones I am most excited for is actually the ability to click here, hold down shift, and you can select multiple right there and then you can hold control and continue to select. And that way, let's say you want to delete all but idle 01, click delete and it will delete all seven of those animations. Now that's a permanent action that can't be reverted. So I'm just going to select no. You can also do the same within here. You can select multiple. You can click a couple out if you want to keep those. Uh, just by holding shift or pressing control to select or deselect. Another super cool feature that I really like. Now, it's not a great example because this has got a few, only a few body parts. So on something bigger, it may be more beneficial. But if you are like, okay, I, I want to make a copy of the teeth. Like, I really want to make a copy of this tooth. You've edited it, maybe you've expanded upon it, you've done some cool stuff with it. You want to make a copy of it and flip it for the other side. But you're like, oh, I don't want to have to go through all of the library to find it. If it's a big library, you can just select it on the skeleton and it will take you in the library panel to where that is. It'll also select it over in the workspace as well. And this works for all the parts. You, you can select in the workspace and it will take you up in the library and take you up in the skeleton. So we can also swap models. So to do this, I already have a new spider leg selected. What I am going to do is, and to click they're all expanded. So we click on that one and we scroll all the way down to here. And we should have all of the legs selected. I am now going to grab this new spider leg and I'm just going to drag it and drop it on one. And it is going to place it over all of them. Not place it on that one. And ah, okay. So this is why it didn't do this. And it is because this is collapsed, hold shift 
to fully collapse or decollapse an entire section. So hold shift and click it. And we can just select all of that and move our leg. We don't even need to click it over here. We can actually select it here. And now Spider has uh, hot dog legs. The team is aware of it being that if something is collapsed, it won't select it. So if we just select this and we go down and we select down to here, it's going to select all of these. However, if we open this up, these ones are not selected. What you can do is you can go in with the control and you can select them that way. So this is super handy if you've got something like all of these legs. I don't know if anybody is going to be wanting to create an entire spider out of those body parts. But let's pretend that somebody does in fact want an entire spider made out of those body parts. Just grab that, throw it there, and now we have an entire, an entire spider. Let's get a run going so we can see all of the parts moving. Now there's just a very weird hot dog creature that we've got running around. So some of the hotkeys, so control A is to select all. You can just control A to select all of it. Control D and duplicate that entire node. All of those will get duplicated. Control R for renaming. And then, and that works within the library skeleton and animation list and in layers as well. So layers over in, the, in here. Uh, control C in the timeline. So what we can do is we can select that, not, uh, that keyframe, control C, move our arrow ahead, control V to paste it. And if you want to paste it uh, flipped, you do shift control V will place it as flipped. So control V for pasting, control shift V to paste flipped. So let's have our human opened up here. And some really great additions is let's say you want to search for the walk animation. And we are getting a lot of animations in here now, like a lot. You need to at least be selected within the animation box itself and then press the letter. So for walk, it is W. Let's press W. It takes you there. Let's say wave. So you continue pressing W and it will toggle through all of those animations. Now I know dance has a lot of different animations. There's an example. We're going to press D for dance. We've got dance one, Billy bounce, uh, breaking, bugs, uh, dancey walk. So we got, we got a whole bunch of dances, death pose, deny, detection, dodge, and then it will, it will toggle back to the first one. And you could do this for everything. And two more features within the modeler section I do want to just quickly cover, which is the, the moving of the axes. We can now, we can now use our arrow keys and it will move based off of which way you are viewing, which way you are viewing the model. So looking at it face on, we can move the left arrow to move it on the X axis. We can press up and down to move it on the Y axis. However, from this viewpoint, we cannot move it along the Z axis. To do that, we would need to rotate. And then we use the left and right to move it up and down. Still does that, uh, still does the Y axis. We look at it from up top. That's when we can move it, use the up and down arrows to move it along the Z axis and left and right arrows to move it along the X. And the other super cool feature I, I am actually really excited about, which is color picker. Instead of going down and selecting the, the picker tool, you can hold tab and select anywhere, let go, and it will take you back to the mode and the tool you were originally working on. So hold tab, select. As you can see over in the material, it is changing. We can select anywhere on here just by holding tab to get the picker up. 
This is just, it's a small thing, but I feel like it's a small thing that would be super helpful. So let's exit this. If you would like to see the shortcut guide, you can actually do shift H and it will bring up all of the keyboard shortcuts for you. I hope you have found this video helpful in learning some of the new features that are coming out with the latest Vox Edit update. We hope to bring you more videos going more in depth and giving you more tips on how to use Vox Edit coming soon. Have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the metaverse. Goodbye.